Thousands of miles away in India, two families are in mourning. A hit and run in Nashville on Thanksgiving killed two students from Tennessee State University. As News Channel 5's Sina Sleem reports, the community is hoping to raise enough money to send their remains back home. Chasing the American dream. Two promising grad students landed here at TSU on the other side of the world from everything they knew. 23-year-old Judy Stanley and 26-year-old Robhav Gobasetti had high hopes to excel, not just for themselves, but for their families back in India. Irreplaceable. I won't be able to find such a great student. Both attending TSU's College of Agriculture, Stanley was seeking a master's. She was very bright. And uh, as a scientist, I used to call her, Judy, you are my star scientist. And just a remarkable um, uh, capacity to understand things. While Gobasetti was working towards his doctorate. He was just a smart kid and wanted to do well. He wanted to be faculty. But on Thanksgiving night. It's really sad. I've lost uh, my shining star. The two students were killed in an apparent hit and run accident. Police say a pickup truck, allegedly driven by David Torres, collided with the student's car. The car then went off the road through a fence before slamming into a tree on Walmart property. I'm still thinking it's a dream. It's a bad dream for me. And I just wake up and it's, it's different. But the hard fact is, is uh, it's reality that has happened. Dr. Ankit Patris, their faculty advisor, has set up a GoFundMe to help send their bodies back home to India. He tells me they both came from small families. He says it's unfair their last breath was in the U.S., thousands of miles away from home. And the least he can do is reunite them with their biggest motivators in life, their family. Sina Sleem, News Channel 5. Sina, thank you. Police say the alleged driver of the pickup truck, David Torres, initially fled the scene. He did turn himself in yesterday with an attorney by his side. Although he wouldn't answer questions, officers did take a DNA sample. Details on the GoFundMe are on our website, newschannel5.com.